All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Today we are going to get the Muslim Abdul busted again. You see, uh, when Muslim they speak about Islam, they are the last one who can teach you what Islam is about and what Islam believe. And today we will give you a great example about this. I encourage all of you to share the link of this video or to download the video if you can. Now I know most of the Christians are really lazy and they don't really care, but for me it doesn't matter if you help me or you don't I do my mission uh, not everyone says to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of my father but those who deserve to go right so I don't know if you deserve or not if you deserve prove it from their fruits you shall know them so what the Muslims they said in this video or this coming video let us go to business and get them busted with their lies and their ignorance. And here I want to focus at the ignorance of the Muslims. In this video in front of us, which sent to me by one of you, the title of the video is, What does Islam say about Paul the Apostle? Question and answer, Yeshua Evans. Yeshua Evans is an idiot who converted to Islam many years ago when he was a kid. And the Muslims, they are using them, they use those, you know, uh, white, ignorant people in the stage in order to fool people to say, see, an American, he converted to Islam. Well, in America, it's full of naives. And there is people who convert to Hinduism, people convert to Buddha, Buddha people convert even to the sun worship, you name it. Uh, you know, when, when a human being is empty inside, anyone can grab him. So let us see exactly what this video is saying so we can love together. What does Islam say about Apostle Paul? Paul. About what? Paul. What does Paul. Islam, what does say, Islam about say about Paul? <laughs> Islam doesn't, I'm, there's no consensus message about Paul. But let me tell you about Paul. <clears throat> Paul is someone on the day of judgment, I don't want to be anywhere near. First and foremost. And I want to know what's waiting for him. But Paul is someone who I'm not sure, and no scholar that I've spoken to is sure, what happened with Paul. Was he a saboteur? Was he a saboteur in order to disrupt Christianity or what the followers of Jesus were doing from within? Or was he just fooled by Satan on the road to Damascus when he thought he saw Jesus? That we cannot answer, whether it was blatant or whether he was fooled. But one thing we do know is he destroyed the teachings of Jesus. He told people to break the law. In Galatians, he commanded them to break the law. He said the law is cursed. All right, this is the, that's what we want. So this guy, he confirmed that Paul, there's no way he is a follower of Christ and he is a teaching. The teaching of Christ have nothing to do with him. Today, we will get the Abdul busted. Supposedly, this is a guy he play in the stage as he's a Muslim who answer. You know, when the Muslim, they play someone in the stage and they ask you, it's mean you are qualified to answer. And here I look at the donkeys beside this guy. Not, a, not even one of them, he said to him, are you stupid or what? Look how long the beard is. Not even one donkey, he said to him, stupid idiot you. You just destroyed Islam. And the proof is going to be seen in the front of you in the screen. Please don't forget to share the link and invite more people to listen and join us. And you can download the video if you wish. Paul in Islam is a messenger of God. But before we go there, just before we go there, I have a challenge for the Muslims, Abdul. Why Paul is bad for you, but yet your prophet never said one word against him? Isn't it, this is a good question? How come Muhammad never say that you Christians follow Paul? You don't follow Jesus? How come Muhammad never mention one bad word about Paul? Are you smarter than your prophet? Are you more knowledgeable than your prophet? Are you more knowledgeable than Allah himself? Neither Allah, neither Muhammad ever mention any bad word against Paul. The fact it is the opposite. And this is how we prove that Islam today is not Islam it was in the time of Muhammad because those are false, stupid idiots who stay, who stay in the stage to make a business and to collect donation. But the fact they are nothing to do with Islam. Because there is a big verse in the Quran speaking about Paul, the great messenger of God. He is not only a messenger of God, he is one of the most powerful, mighty messengers. Let us go to the Quran. In chapter 39, verse number 14, it says, 
إذ أرسلنا إليهم إثنين فكذبوهما فعززنا بثالث فقالوا إنا إليكم مرسلون Chapter 36, verse number 14. Muslim translation. When we first sent to them two messengers, they rejected them, but we string them with the third. They say that truly we have been sent on a mission to you. And later you will find in this chapter, it's speaking about those messengers are, 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 are making amazing signs and miracles in the front of those people in order to convert them to accept God. All right? So here, the Quran did not mention who are the those three because the Quran always is as a stupid book. It's like a it's like a headline. It's not really meant to be a book of teaching as long as it's like a yellow pages. Like you want to get the, the phone number of Paul? Here we go. But who is Paul? Nobody knows. Now, how we can find out who are the, the three messengers this guy he said in Islam there's nowhere we can find anything have to do with Paul listen carefully what does Paul, Islam, what say, does Islam about say about Paul <laughs> Islam doesn't um, there's no consensus message about Paul let us get this idiot busted again if we go and see how many chapters in the Quran they praise Paul you will not believe it Usually, I just only quote chapter Yasin, chapter 36, to prove my point. But today, we will go farther. But before we go there, let us see what the interpretation for the verse we gave you is about. Remember, everything we show here is coming from Muslim books. Remember that. We don't quote for you what we think or what we believe we are quoting for you what the Muslims believe. This is chapter 36, verse number 14. We go to Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir is a real scholar, not like those donkeys who they are in the stage insulting Paul because they are ignorant donkeys. You know, I use the word donkeys. Actually, I hope I will not be sued one day by the donkey union for I am insulting donkeys because I believe donkeys are still smart. If we go here, we will find the following. And remember, this is not me speaking or talking. I'm reading for you what you Muslim scholars say. Verily, we have sent to you as messengers, meaning from your Lord. Okay, who are they, those? Those are the messengers of the Messiah, peace upon him, to the people of Antakya. That's wonderful. So the Muslims admitted that the Messiah, he can send messengers and they are people who make miracles and signs. How the Messiah himself is a prophet, but yet he can send messengers. And the Quran confirmed that those are messengers from God. A messenger cannot make you a messenger. Only God can send messengers. Let us continue. They said you are only human being like ourselves. Means, so how could you receive revelation when you are a human being and we are a human being okay well, let us continue then because they did not want to believe in those messengers allah he stringed them with uh, uh, a strong uh, 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 messenger who is the strong messenger and who are the those three so we enforce them with the third means we supported them string them with the third messenger ibn jurair ibn jurair is one of the sahaba narrated from Wahab ibn Sulaiman, from, 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 from the names uh, 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 of the uh, first two messengers were Shama'un, Shama'un, which means Simon, and Yohanna, John, and the name of the third was Paulus. This is the name in Arabic, Paulus. So this stupid idiot, he said, in Islam, I cannot find any place to Paul except he is going to go to hell. I don't want to be close to him. He is the one who destroyed, the, 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 the distorted the teaching of Christ. Look how much they are insulting Paul. But yet in their scholars' books, Paul is a great messenger of God. Usually I use Ibn Kathir in Arabic. In, in English because this is what we have in English to show you because you guys you don't speak Arabic but we have tons of verses in the Quran praising Paul as an example if we go to the chapter of An'am 
in the chap a chapter let's go first let us go first hold on let us start from al maida in al maida we will find the following let me find you as long as we are talking let us go further let me find you the tafsir the tafsir is in arabic but doesn't matter really we are saying the truth we don't lie and people who speak arabic they can't read with us This is Tafsir al alusi for the chapter of Al-Ma'ida. Chapter of Al-Ma'ida. Verse number 18. Read with me what al alusi your master, your scholar, said about Paul. You bunch of idiots who keep insulting Paul when he is a great prophet in your books. Which is proven to us that the attack on Paul is something very new. This has happened after the idiot did that. Muslims, they are copy paste. Nobody even read his books. So what your scholars, again, this is the book, Tafsir al-Quran, Tafsir al-Lusi. The value number six. Page number 101. What Paul he said about, or what, what, what the Tafsir says? It says that Paul he said to his message to the king of the Roman. Let me find it first. Uh, <laughs> stupid Muslim. <laughs> Hold on. What do you expect? Garbage in, garbage out. You want to insult Paul, huh? I want to spank you. Here we go. وقال بولس وقال بولس الرسول في رسالته إلى ملك الروم إن الروح تشهد لأرواحنا إننا أبناء الله تعالى وأحباؤه إلى غير ذلك مما لا يحصى كثرهم. Okay, what does that mean? You see, I'm not going to translate. I'm going to use Google translation. Whatever Google translation says, we will see what the scholars of Islam, al alusi one of the biggest scholars of Islam, saying about Paul. And then we will die laughing from the stupidity of those Muslims who keep insulting Paul. So if we go to Google translation, in the front of your eyes, Copy paste. English. John said, The disciple in the stories, the apostle, O oh my beloved, we are sons of God. So named and said, the, said, Apostle Paul, in his letter to the king of the Roman, the spirit attest to our lives that we are the sons of God. He loves one, and lo he loves ones. Uh, 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 to a countess, other countess. Now, for sure, the translation of Google is not too much accurate, but you get the idea. So in their books, Paul is an amazing messenger, and they are, not only that, they are quoting what Paul is saying to explain the stupid Quran. Do you believe it? The Muslims are quoting Paul to explain the stupid Quran. Yet the Muslims, they say to us in their videos that Paul is the enemy of God. <laughs> Paul. Paul. About what? Paul. What does Paul, Islam, what does say, Islam about Paul? say about Paul? Islam doesn't, um, there's no consensus message about Paul. Yeah, yeah, let me tell you that now you are a donkey officially, and I just get you busted. You guys are a bunch of donkeys who know nothing about Islam. You grow beard in your face or you grow in, in different location will not make you a scholar. You are a bunch of donkeys who have no idea what are you talking about. You are even insulting your prophet, insulting your religion. Shame on you. But it's not your fault. This is what happens when you speak to ignorant. If we go right now and search how many people are insulting Paul, look how many donkeys. Why? Because those people, they never read their books. 
Look at this guy. Look at this guy, Shabir Ali. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. All the Muslims attacking Paul, but none of them knows that Paul is a great messenger in their books. And all their scholars, they caught him. They caught his words. How stupid those people are. How, how, how much ignorance they have. If we go to the chapter of Al-An'am, huh, we will see what Ibn Ishaq, you know, uh, uh, Ibn Isaac, what he said. What he said about Paul. You will see how much he, they appreciate him. Let me show you. <laughs> garbage in, garbage out. I wish I can get those people in a debate so we can die laughing, seriously. You know? I wish, but this is why they will not debate me. I mean, you know, you know why they don't debate me, don't you? You know why they want to debate someone like uh, uh, David Wood, as an example. I'm not putting David Wood down, but you know, he's limited. He's limited in knowledge about Islam, even about the Bible. They are people who don't want to debate you only if you are a person who is limited. Let us go here. Uh, let us show you a book. Tafsir Nidha Nidha. Okay, here we go. This is the book of Nodom ad Durar. Fi Tanasibil Ayat, Tanasibil Ayati was Suar. Volume number seven. Read with me carefully. All the Abdul's. Read with me carefully. It says, uh, I just see. The problem you cannot search in this uh, page to find that uh, the text right away. Hold on, let me get out, find the same book or different book. All right, that is better. The book of Asira Nabawiya li Ibn Hisham. The book of what? Asira Nabawiya li Ibn Hisham. Read with me carefully. Abdul's ignorant. Qala Ibn Ishaq. Ibn Isaac, Ibn Ishaq, he said, وَكَانَ مَنْ بَعَثَ عِيسَ بْنُ مَرْيَمَ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامَ مِنَ الْحُوَارِيِّينَ وَالْأَتْبَعَ And it was from those who, the Messiah, Peace upon him, send from his apostle and his companions, those who, he, you know, uh, 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 the one who sent them all over like the earth. And he continues saying, Butros al Hawari, Peter, uh, 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 Paul the apostle, sorry, Peter the apostle, Wama'ahu Paulus, and with him, Paul. And Paul, he was from the followers, which means he was not from the companion right away, who witnessed for Jesus by seeing him uh, firsthand. So he was from the followers. So the Muslims, even Ibn, Is Ibn Hisham and Ibn Ishaq, they witnessed that Paul was one of the apostles of Jesus. And he continued here saying, And Paul, he was not with those who was sent with the apostle to the city of Rumia, or the land of Rumia. And the Apostle Andraus, Andraus, as they call it in Arabic, Waminta, and the, the guy whose name is Minta, إلى الأرض التي يأكل أهلها الناس. What Thomas, the, uh, they send them Andraus and Minta. I think he meant here uh, 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 Matta, which means Matthew, 
uh, they were sent to the land where people they eat people and Thomas was sent to the land of the Babylon and Philippus was sent to Cartagena which is in Africa which is like you know Tunisia etc there and it is Africa and wa Yohannes ila Ephesus and Yohanna was sent to the city of Ephesus so they are counting all the names including Paul do you see it so how come for the last 14 centuries Paul was a great wonderful person in Islam and now suddenly every stupid idiot who grow a beard he is cursing Paul I will tell you why because they are copy paste as you see we are not reading Christian books the one is witnessing for Paul is the Muslim scholars who their beard those are the founders of Islam who is what the Muslims know about Muhammad it's from here who knows about Islam this idiot who converted to Islam yesterday or Ibn Kathir or the Imam al Lusi. <laughs> who knows who is the one can be taken seriously If we go to the chapter of Yasin, this is the one we mentioned already, and we mentioned to you what it says about uh, uh, Paul. So already we mentioned to you three chapters in the Quran, and three huge, big, heavy scholars, heavy-duty scholars in Islam, they are speaking about him. But by the way, I can show you from different books. I'm just giving you the most important scholars. If we go to Tafsir Ibn Hatim, another Tafsir, you see actually this web page here have uh, all the Tafsirs in it. Let us see this one. This one is a good page. It's a Muslim web website. Have all Tafsir in one page, like the most major one. You see here it started with Ibn Kathir. All right, and you will see here it says the name of Paulus. All right, this is the first time. This is Ibn Kathir. Who else? Let us go. Who else is going to mention Paulus? Hmm. Let us see. Let us do it in a faster way. And I know that uh, uh, a few of you will care even for what we do here. Nobody really care, you right? As usual, right? But it's okay. Uh, maybe what we can do? If I am a Muslim, my videos will be all over, all over the internet. Let us go to different. Hold on. This one have only one tafsir. Uh, okay, this is the website of Saudi Arabia. All right. Oh, this is Ibn Kathir. We we showed you Ibn Kathir already in Arabic. Uh, this is Al Bidaya wa Nihaya. Look at this, the book of Al Bidaya and Al Nihaya. To Ibn Kathir, this is different from the interpretation. Again, he mentioned the name of Paul as a messenger of God. The same story. All right. So the Muslim, they keep on insulting Paul, not because they knew what they are talking about, but because they are a bunch of ignorant who have no idea what they are talking about. عن وهب ابن سليمان عن شعيب الجبائي كان اسم الرسولين الأولين شمعون ويحنى وإث واسم الثالث بولس 
Polos is the name we use in Arabic. Walqariya Antakiya, and the and the village is Antakiya. Now, some Muslims they will say to you, "Well, not all the scholars they agree with this, but not a single scholar attack Paul." I don't care how many agree or how many don't. The question is, why not even one Muslim scholar attack Paul ever for the last 14 centuries? And why many of your scholars keep saying Paul is a great person if he was not? But not yet one single person say the opposite. Not even one. Let us see this. Here we fight ignorance. Read with me carefully. This is Tafsiru Ibn Hatim. And this is Islamport.com. This is not a Christian website. Islamport. Oh boy. I forgot all this time my screen is not showing. I really apologize how I made such a mistake. I have to go back. <laughs> I was reading all this time for you, and but the screen was was was, uh, was off. <laughs> it's all right. We will go back. No problem. No problem. Okay, forgive me, guys. I made a mistake. Uh, here is Tafsiru Ibn Hatim. It says it clearly that the names of the two first two messengers it was Shamoon and Yohanna. Shamoon wa Yohanna wa ismu thalith Bulos. And the third one, his name is Paul. This is the book of who? Tafsiru ibn Hatim, ibn Abi Hatim. This is a great big name, a Muslim scholar in Islam. And this is Islam port, as you see slamport.com now because we did not show you like we skipped by mistake the screen was off I will go back and we will read what other scholars they were saying about this all right this is the book of Asir al Nabawiya Ibn, Ibn Hisham read with me carefully please Asir al Nabawiya Ibn Hisham this is a Muslim website 100% it says that Ibn, Ibn Ishaq he said Ibn Ishaq, he said, and that the Messiah, Isa, the son of Maryam, peace upon him, he sent from his apostle and his followers, which the one who came after, which means the followers, which means the one who became a Christian based on the, in the preaching of the apostle. For all the earth, for all the earth, and this is, will answer the stupid Abdul when they say that Jesus was only sent to the Jews because Jesus, you know, uh, uh, the Muslim, they will quote for you a verse Jesus said to the women, like the Canaanite women, I send to the children of Israel. But they will not tell you that Jesus, he said that I've been sent to the whole world too. First, I came to the people of Israel because this is the only people who believe in me. But Jesus came for the whole world. Not only for the, for the Jews. I was sent to my people for they are the one who believe in me. It's like, you know, saying to me, well, why you are landing in the airport of uh, Jerusalem? Well, at that time, it was the only airport in the world welcoming me for they are the only one who believe in God, which is me. So it's very normal to come to my people first. But Jesus said, I have people from around the world. This is why he says, go and teach and preach and baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the whole world. And here we will see even Ibn Ishaq confirm that the Messiah was not a messenger sent to the Jews only because here in the front of us it says, and read with me carefully, if you are a Muslim, Abdul, actually, you know what? We can copy paste in Google translation. Just wait. Why we don't do it? Let us copy from here. Go to Google Translation again. All right. Ibn Ishaq said, It was from the resurrection of Jesus 
uh, sorry, the resurrection of Je Jesus, son of Mary. Peace be upon him of the apostle and followers who were after them in the land, which means sent all the way to the whole earth. Peter the apostle and with him Paul was a follower. Do you see it? So the Muslims acknowledge the Messiah as a person who sent apostle to the whole earth. Now who is the Messiah to send apostle? And those are the Quran mentioned them in chapter 36. The Muslims, they have no answer. But yet they attack Paul left and right. Again, that is based on their ignorance. If we go in the interpretation of uh, Fathul Bari, Fathul Bari fi Sharhi Sahih al-Bukhari, Fathul Bari is one of the most important books which explaining al-Bukhari. What Fathul Bari said, Let us take a look. Actually, let us go before we go to Fath al-Bari. This is the book of Ibn Kathir. It's called Tuhfat al-Nubala min qisas al-Anbiya lil-Imam al-Hafiz Ibn Kathir. The book name Tuhfatun Nubala, like the, 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 the treasure of the noble from the stories of the Prophet by the Imam Hafiz Ibn Kathir. Qala Ibn Ishaq, Fima Balagahu an Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas is who? Ibn Abbas is the cousin of the Prophet. And Kaab, Ibn Abbas, and Kaab, and Wahab. Annahum qalu kana laha malik yusamma Anchis. There was a king there. He called Anchis. And he used to worship idols. So Allah, he sent to them three messengers. The first one, his name is Sadiq. Sadiq here is a title, which means the truthful. And Saduq is the truth. And Shalom, which means the peace. This, those are description. And Qutada said that they were the messengers of the Messiah. And this is exactly what Ibn Juraj, he said. From Wahab ibn Sulaiman and Shu'ayb al Jaba'i, call Ismu Rasulain, reporting from Wahab, son of Sulaiman, reporting from Shu'ayb al Jaba'i. He said, The names of the first two messengers were Simon Shamun and Yohanna John, and the third was Paulus, which means Paul, and the city was, or the, the village, it was Intakia, or Intak, or Intakia. And this is what the Muslims books scholars speak about Paul. Not a single one say one bad word about Paul. So shame on you Muslims. The copy paste nation of Ahmad Didat, who speak with no knowledge, who speak with ignorance. And we can show you by the way, endless interpretation, nonstop. If we go to chapter 5, sorry, chapter uh, 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 Yasin, verse number 15 as an example, and read the interpretation, you will see it says the following. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's in this, which is amazing actually, which is amazing. Not only the interpretation of the Muslim books speak about Paulus as a messenger of God, is speaking about him as a messenger who do amazing miracles, which nobody can do. Read carefully with me. Tafsir ibn Ashur. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Take a note, Muslims. This is. Let me let me zoom in the in the website in the top so you can see the address. Hold on. This is what. This is Quran.ksu.education.sa. This is an official Islamic website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. This is government website. This is a government university website. 
Do you see it? So don't tell me you did not see it. All right, now let us go. What the interpretation here says about Paul, it is something you will not even imagine. It says with the clear words that Paul, he made miracles. How Paul can make miracles if he is this guy, if this guy is saying to us that Paul was a liar, he was a thief, he was a bad person, he fabricated Christianity, he is nowhere to be Let Christian. me tell you about Paul. Let what me does Paul, Islam, what does say, Islam about Paul? say about Paul? <laughs> Islam doesn't, I'm, there's no consensus message about Paul. But let me tell you about Paul. <clears throat> Paul is someone on the day of judgment, I don't want to be anywhere near. First, See, he don't want to be anywhere near, but yet his scholars, they are saying that Paul is an amazing person. Now let us go and see what the scholars of Islam speak about Paul from the Islamic government website of Saudi Arabia. It says the following, and I challenge any Muslim to say I'm not telling the truth. Actually, our copy, paste. Our copy, paste. Guys, read with me. The Muslims are copying from our Bible supposedly to prove that the Quran is speaking about Paul. وَلِذَلِكَ جَاءَ فِي سَفَرِ أَعْمَالِ الرُّسُلِ أَنَّ بَعْضَ الْيُونَانِ مِنْ أَهْلِ مَدِينَةِ لَسْتَرَةِ رَأُوا مُعْجِزَةَ بُولُسِ النبي فقالوا بلسان يوناني إن الآلهة تشبه بالناس ونزلوا نزلوا إلينا فكانوا يدعون برنابا زفس وبولس هرمس Let us read together what does that mean Read carefully with me I'm going to copy exactly as in front of you and I will take it to Google Translation as we did before All right let us go. <laughs> oh boy. Copy, paste. Therefore, it is written. Let us zoom in. As you see, I'm just copying exactly the text in the front of your eyes. I'm not adding a word, I'm not taking a word. Therefore, it is written in the book of, uh, of Acts of the Apostle that some Greek from the city of Lystra saw the miracles of the prophet Paul. Now listen, here the Muslims is quoting the book of Acts and yet they are calling Paul, prophet Paul. What he is reporting here that Paul he did miracles. To prove and to explain the verse in the Quran, he is not saying it's not true. He is taking it to prove the interpretation. And said in a Greek, the God resemble people and descend them upon us. So those Greek, according to 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 uh, 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 to this scholar, saying that when they saw the miracles of Paul, he must be God, for he is coming in the shape of a man, but yet he can do what God can do, and they called them. Barnabas and Paul, he called and and uh, uh, Paul and Barnabas. Uh, uh, you know, you can read the rest. So they wanted to kill them and they wanted to destroy them. And the monk in the in the city want to kill them and etc. And supposedly, you know, the story is uh, to, to make the story short. Islamic books confirm Paul as a messenger of God. So why Muslims? insult the one who is a great messenger in their book for they are copy paste those are ignorant stupid people who say things they don't even understand if you go to the chapter 36 verse number 18 you will see that they are asking Paulus to make a miracle they are asking who specifically the person who his name is Paul to make a miracle so what they did 
Let us see. Let us take this book. At Tahrir wa Tanweer. It says the following. And read with me carefully, Abdul. Uh, hmm. Let us see what it says. Oops, sorry, we went out by mistake. All right. Where? Uh, la, 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 la. All right, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Let us see. And this page is not appearing. Um, bah, 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 bah. Maybe in the next coming page. Let us see. But it doesn't click for the coming page. Oh, here we go. Actually, it says here. Hold on. It says. And then those people who they, 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 uh, which Allah He sent Paul to them, they start asking them, which mean Paul and the, whoever accompany him, to stop preaching about their religion. And it says to them, "Li an lam tantahu lanarjumunnakum." If you did not stop, we are going to kill you by stoning you. And this is can be found. In the chapter 36, verse number 18. Let us go there. And the people said, For us, we eager an evil uh, omen from you. If you desist not, we will certainly stone you. So they are threatening Paul that they will stone him if he don't stop doing what he is doing. Let us see what the Muslim scholar says about Paul, what Paul he did in return for the threat. They will kill him. Was Paul a coward who ran away? Was Paul a messenger who ran away for his life? Or he was a brave? Let us see what he did. Then it says, those two messengers, after they've been threatened, they came asking Paul for help. وَبِذَلِكَ أَلْجَأُ Paulus wa Barnaba ila al-khuruji min min intaqiya fa kharaja ila ayqun ayquniya wa dhaharat karamat Paulus fi ayquniya let us see what does that mean after they threat them that we are going to stone you those two guys they went out of the city of Antakya and they made a miracle in the place it's called ayquniya uh, uh, which means Lestra and then they made another miracle in the place is called Darba. And wherever they go, they do miracles in their way. That is Paul in Islam. So why the Muslims, they say Paul was a bad person. Let us copy paste and go to Google translation. Paul and Barnabas came out of Antioch, Antioch and came to Iconom. This is the city of, supposedly the name of the city. And the, the dignity of Paul appeared. This is not the dignity, by the way. This is the miracles of Paul. The translation is wrong. The miracle of Paul appeared in that city, and in that city, and in that city. He's counting how many cities they continue preach, preaching and they, wherever they go, they, 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 they uh, persecute them. But yet Paul, he is doing miracles one after one after one. And as you see, this is reported in Muslims' books. 
This is not from the Christian books. Again, this is the book of at tahrir wa tanweer You remember the, the, the idiot who uh, told me Ibn Ashur, nightmare before, the Moroccan guy? Here we go, this is Ibn Ashur. The scholar he like. He is saying that Paul is a person who did miracles and he is a messenger of God. We can continue. We can show you tons and tons. Other, I will spend the whole day showing you reference. So the question for the stupid, ignorant ones who keep attacking Paul. Why you keep saying stupid things against Paul when he is a great messenger for you Muslims? Why? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? If we go as an example to chapter of An-Nisa, verse number 171, let us do that. It's amazing the ignorance of those people. It's really amazing. It's disgusting too. And I feel sorry for them. I mean, not even one of you want to read his book before you open your mouth. But as they say, garbage in, garbage out. Garbage in, garbage out. In chapter 4, verse number 171, you see, this is the Muslim translation in English. Let us see if the English translation fit with the Arabic words. Hmm. All people of the scripture, the gospel, do not go extreme, etc. Okay, okay. Uh, the Messiah, son of Mary, etc., etc. Okay. Uh -huh. well, I don't see anything now. Paul, where is Paul? It's speaking about a brave man, his name is Paul. You see, guys, the English translation, Paul is gone. Amazing. Let me let me be sure. Hold on. <laughs> In the English translation, Paul, it disappeared. Why? There's no Paul. I mean, what happened? Is that a miracle? Oh, this is sorry. You know what? This is Tafsir al Jalalain. It's my mistake. It's my mistake. I have to go to Al Qurtubi. It is my mistake. Let us change. Uh, Al Qurtubi does not exist in English here. So we have to go to Arabic. Yeah, it is in Al Qurtubi. Let us go to Al Qurtubi and see in Arabic. I was wondering what happened. I mean, this is really stupid. Let us go to Al Qurtubi. Uh, I'll call to be here we go all right read with me Abdul it's a disaster it is a disaster read with me what al Qurtubi says about the wonderful Paul he described him as the hero of a Christianity let us read together <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, we need to flip the page, I think, here. All right. Mm -hmm. Uh, how do we go? Read with me, guys. Read with me carefully. And there was one of the Jews, a man, his name is Paul, Paulus. He killed some of the Christians from the followers of Isa. And then he said, If the follower, if, if the truth is with Isa, we are all kuffar. And we are going to be punished in hellfire. 
and we are going to end in the in, in uh, 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 you know uh, 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 in hellfire. And if they are right, then they will go to heaven, and we will go to hell. Which means he, he's saying, well, if the Christians are true people and they are following the true God, well, I am going to go to hell, and the Christian will go to heaven. And I'm going to show, I'm going to examine them and, you know, uh, 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 you, know uh, uh, you know, I will do my best to make them, uh, let us say, uh, end in hell. All right. So what, what, uh, what, the, uh, what the story here is saying that after that, Paul, he repent. And he put sand and dust on his face. And he said to the Christians, I am Paul. I am your enemy. I was called from the heaven. That there is no repentance for me unless I became a Christian like you. So they enter him upon a church. And he stayed there for a year. He never get out except not even night, not even daytime. And he learned the gospel. Let me, let me guys, let me copy for you exactly the translation, I mean the English, and you can read with me. So the story here, and again, this is Al-Qurtubi, one of the greatest scholars of Islam, speaking about Paul, that he was chasing the Christians to kill them. And he said to himself, well, let us see if their God is a true God, which means let us see if God, if, if their God is a true God, he can prove himself to me. I am copying the, the text as it is and pasting in the front of your eyes. And of the Jews were a brave man who was told or called by Paul, killed the group of people, the followers of Jesus. You see the translation is not accurate as you know, this is Google translation. Uh, you know, you can read the rest. All right. And then you will see after he killed them, he came to the Christians. I am Paul, your enemy, have been commanded from heaven that you have no repentance except to baptize. So enter into the church. So he entered into the church and he stayed in the house for a year and he never get out, not day, not night, as we translate it to you. Do you see it? Guys, do you see it? This is what the Muslims, they say about Paul. Paul, he is a brave man who killed the Christians, but yet he repent for he found that Jesus the Christ is the true one to follow. And this is from their books. He get baptized and he enter a church and then a house. And then after that, he stayed there for a year. He never get out. Not in a daytime, not a night, which means all the year he was a praying. Until he learned the gospel. And he repent and he believe in him. And loved him. Which means he repent and he believed in the Messiah. And then he went to the house to Jerusalem. Etc. So, you know, when the Muslims, they insult Paul, they are speaking nothing but their ignorance. Should I continue? I can show you tons and tons of reference. But I think the message is clear. Muslims are a bunch of ignorant. They have no idea what Islam is about and what Islam does teach. So don't learn from the Muslims anything. Because even their, how they can teach you about your belief if you, like, can you tell me how those people, they never read this before? Any Muslim can explain to me? Those people who grow beard and the Muslims invite them for conference and they put them in the stage and they are supposed to people who ask. You see, when you put somebody in the stage and people ask him a question, it's mean he is a qualified to be in the stage. You don't place a donkey in the stage. You place an educated person. So this person in the stage, for what reason? When Shabir Ali attack Paul, he attack Paul based on what? On Islam? When this guy, he attacked Paul, he attacked Paul based on what? On Islam? Islam doesn't, doesn't attack Paul. Islam praised Paul. 
So it's like a bunch of donkeys trying to claim that they are educated ones and they are going to teach you. This is why I'm here to spank and expose those stupid fool. Feel free to download my videos, share it with your friends. I know not many of you care anyway. I know that there is many Christians are Christians by name. I know that's you know uh, uh, most of the time I make a video which is a priceless. I mean, have you ever seen a video like this before? I'm sure you never never saw. Have you ever seen somebody getting the Muslim busted like this before? I'm sure you never saw. But people don't care. People they want to see something funny, something stupid, something crazy. Uh, a woman she is un 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 unboxing her bikini. Then they will share the link. A bunch of guys have a gr crazy hair and they have tons of rings in their nose and their ears and they are making a stupid song and then they will share the link. But we are the one, the warriors of Christ, nobody sponsor us and nobody support us and nobody invite us to the church to teach. Why? Because many Christians today don't deserve Christ. You claim to be a Christian but you don't belong to him. If you are a true Christian, do what you need to do. It's a shame to see people insulting Paul and none of us at least share a link. I mean, you don't dare to open your mouth. You don't dare to stand in a church. You don't dare to stand in the street to preach the name of Jesus. Well, share a link. Download a video. Post it here and there. I want to say thank you for those who support us. May the Lord bless you. And I hope to see you soon again. Sorry for if I am I'm being a little bit harsh. But you know, I want to see real Christians coming to heaven of Jesus. Work for your salvation. You are not working for me. I do not need people to work for me. And you are not working for the Lord himself too. You are working for yourself. In order to earn salvation, my friend, you have to deserve salvation. Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. Are you doing his will? The Muslims are lost. They are deceived. And we are here trying to help them. But if you don't help yourself, how we can help the Muslims anyway? Help us in what we do. So you help yourself. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you all. Christ is Lord and Islam is false. And we prove that every day, every minute, every second. Islam is the most ignorant, stupid religion. It's very easy to destroy if you have the knowledge. The Bible says that my people are destroyed because of their ignorance. So don't be one of those ignorant. Otherwise, you know where you are going to end. Thank you. Christ is Lord. I mean to that. And see you soon again. Bye-bye.